today we'll be reading a book called Corduroy. Before I start reading the story, I want to go over some uh, words with you. Okay, the first word is department store. Okay, department store is a store that sells a lot of things in there like clothes, shoes, pots and pans and all kinds of stuff. So for example, Target would be a department store. Okay, our next word is escalator. Escalator. Escalator is like an electric uh, stairs. Okay, and I bet a lot of you have been on it. Okay, it goes up and down. Sometimes when you go to like Mall of America, there are escalators over there or at the airport. Okay. Our next word is palace. Palace is like a castle, a huge, huge, big house, and usually for like kings and queens. Okay, so this is an example of a palace. Okay. Next word is overalls. 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 Okay, it's a pair of pants that goes over your shoulder, and there's like a strap right here. Okay. So that's an overall. And the last word is admire. Admire. Admire is when you uh, really like someone um, because maybe they did something great or it could be something uh, too. So here's an example of admire. Look at, he's like their superhero and they're all admiring him. Okay. So I'm going to read the book, Corduroy. It's by John Freeman. Corduroy is a bear who once lived in the toy department of a big store. Day after day, he waited with all the other animals and dolls for somebody to come along and take him home. The store was always filled with shoppers buying all sorts of things, but no one ever seemed to want a small bear in green overalls. Then one morning, a little girl stopped and looked straight into Corduroy's bright eyes. Oh, Mommy, she said. Look, there's the very bear I've always wanted. Not today, dear, her mother sighed. I've spent too much already. Besides, he doesn't look new. He's lost a button on one of his shoulder straps. Corduroy watched them sally as they walked away. I didn't know I lost a button, he said to himself. Tonight, I'll go and see if I can find it. Late that evening, when all the shoppers had gone and the doors were shut and locked, Corduroy climbed carefully down from his shelf. and began searching everywhere on the floor for his lost button. Suddenly, he felt the floor moving under him. Quite by accident, that uh, he had stepped onto an escalator, and he went up. Could this be a mountain, he wondered. I, I think I've always wanted to climb a mountain. He stepped off the escalator as it reached the next floor, and there, before his eyes, was the most amazing sight. Tables and chairs and lamps and sofas and rows and rows of beds. This must be a palace, Corduroy gasped. I, I guess I've always wanted to live in a palace. He wandered around and admiring the furniture. This must be a bed, he said. I've always wanted to sleep in a bed. And up he crawled onto a large, thick mattress. And all at once, he saw something small and round. Why, here's my button, he cried, and he tried to pick it up, 
but like all the other buttons on the mattress, it was tied down uh, tight.